A Galveston family whose home was heavily damaged in a police SWAT raid is demanding answers. Today they joined their attorneys in downtown Houston asking the city of Galveston to step up and pay for those damages. Anayeli Ruiz joining us live with the very latest. Anayeli. Well, that's right. The family not only demanding the city fix the damages to their home, but they're also asking the city to publicly apologize to them by Friday. It was a traumatic night for Erica Rios and her two teenage kids. This after their home was raided by Galveston police on Sunday, January 22nd. While they were sleeping, police broke windows, doors and dragged them out of their home in the middle of the night looking for a teen accused of murder. Major confusion. I had no idea what was going on. It was um, scary. Like I said, it happened really fast. In the end, police arrested no one. They raided the wrong home and didn't find their suspect. What they did to me and my family was wrong. What they did to our family traumatized me, my daughter, and my son. Erica Rios and her kids live a few doors down from the person police were looking for that night. Matter of fact, her kids are friends with him. At the time, police thought 17-year-old Cameron Vargas was their main suspect on a murder case. But it turns out they were wrong again, and the charges against Cameron were dropped. We are glad we were able to prove his innocence. But my son is also due a public apology. But attorneys say the mistake doesn't stop there. A warrant for Cameron's arrest was signed on January 21st. And on that same day, police pulled over Erica and her kids along with Cameron. Attorneys want to know why not take Cameron in at that moment. Why move forward with an unnecessary raid? Hey, we got him right there. Let's take him right there. Why would we let him a felony murder suspect? Why would he let why would we let him go? What both families are asking for now is an apology. Wrong guy. Wrong house. And we went overboard. Eric and her family also want this city to pay for the destruction left behind. My house isn't a mansion, but it is mine. And now they destroyed it. I'm asking Galveston, Texas to do the right thing. We've reached out to the city of Galveston multiple times today, but have not heard back from them. Now the police chief for the city was placed on administrative leave over the weekend. This is for failure to communicate. Now, of course, we have reached out to also to the police department waiting to hear back. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. And family now with a very powerful attorney. Thank you so much, Anayeli Ruiz.